coming in. Uh, it was uh, we were told on Monday that he might be out for three or four weeks, but he will line up at full forward for the Blues. It's like weight on Revolt, go, Thornton on Gary Gand. As you can see, Fisher and uh, Hudson have been playing a bit of tag on Brendan Carlton Favola. Kick. Carlton come out with a free kick without a bounce. Ackland giving off to Carazzo and Matthew Lappin in his 250th game will have the second kick of the match. And it's uh, fitting that he is playing it against his uh, old club. Blues to Favola. There's a free Brendan, kick, I think, in front. Brendan. It's not Favola's ball. It will be Fisher to take the free back. kick. Hands in the back call. The man on the mark is Brad probably Mark's just a okay. touch outside that, 40 metres. So, Brad Fisher with a chance to give Carlton a flying start. Conditions good here. Pale blue sky, but not too much sun casting shadows. Good kick, and Carlton are away. And you've only got to see what the emotion of Carlton is at the moment. Every single player of Carlton has gone over to congratulate Fisher kicking that goal. So Carlton have made their intent early and the Saints can't afford to sit on their heels in this game and expect that they're going to win. Well, last week was the first time in the season Brad Fisher didn't kick a goal. He started off and made amends for that. There's the new coach, Brett Ratton. And he'll be wishing for the siren. Wouldn't it be a fairy tale story if the Blues could upset the Saints here this afternoon? Ackland to do battle with Ricks. Ackland wins it clearly. Chance though for Simpson. Well done. Shrugs a tackle. Scrambles it towards half forward. Gilbert in the way though for the Saints. What a week he had last week. Into the path of Milne. Here's a chance for St Kilda. Stephen Milne. Pursued by Houlihan. Decides to go back with not much on offer. Well done Houlihan. Although he eventually lost his feet. Buying Milne some time, but Lappin, wonderful smother. He dives back on the football, needs to get this out, Matty Lappin. It came out. Fisher, Baker, back to Fisher. Good pressure, though, by Carlton. Chance for Attard was pushed, but he kicks towards Revolt. Brought down in the tackle, well done, and Carlton are able to tie it up at centre-half back, and the umpire calls for it. And already early, we had a question mark about whether Carlton would push numbers back. On that approach, there's Saddington staying there in front of Garrick, but there were other numbers for Carlton pushing back in numbers just to stop that ball flow. Bannister has Del Santo. Carlton look as though they're going to uh, play pretty hard tags on a couple of St Kilda star midfielders. Del Santo overrunning that. St Kilda a chance here. Lee Fisher to Hayes to Harvey. As they work the ball around, just trying to set something up. Maguire keeps it wide, does it well. Graham, Gehrig on the lead, but the hole is filled by Saddington, who probably could have marked it, but decided perhaps that discretion was the better part of valour. And with Gehrig bearing down, that might well be so. And if we just see the Saints forward line there, you'll see, or the Carlton forward line, I should say, there's no one, they've all pushed numbers up to crowd this stoppage. Ackland wins it down, front of the pack, and Montagna, who's been in wonderful form, had a great season. Sees it over for a boundary throw in. It's important because we've already seen the attendant Carlton already in the first couple of minutes. We've already seen what their game style is going to be. Again, Ackland doing well in the ruck in the early stages. Well done. Good handball. Fisher kicks. A poster. Lee Fisher finding himself in the attacking 50. Just missing. So first score for the Saints at only a behind. Simpson to kick in for the Blues. And he goes long and he goes to Carlton numbers and Wiggins takes a strong mark in front of Gilbert. So uh, a promising start here from the Blues, but uh, clearly it is early days. Bauer gives it back to Wiggins and now Saddington, who um, gives weight a little bit of room and Bauer has it again. And uh, that's not a bad result as he works it onto our help and from uh, a difficult spot, it was an ambitious kick. And that's well offline. Jackson giving the ball to O'Halpin. And Jackson picked up Harvey in the early minutes. The mark. He's only a second he gamer. Come back on the mark. No, you hadn't come back on the mark. Well, Why else did you come back? Well, that should be 50 metres if by all reports for me. Yep. No, I agree with that. So Baker finds Fisher, who kicks a well, dangerous kick towards the wing. Simpson does well to intercept on Blake. 
And a cut. the Blues are fighting very hard. Houlihan loops the handball. Simpson again. Now Carrazzo, 60 from goal. Pulls it back. Favola, got to beat a couple. Fist from Hudson. Coming in hard, Baker. Gee, it was a good tackle though by Fisher. Favola snaps to a vacant goal screen. Kicks a ripper. And you can see the support, the numbers, the enthusiasm in this Carlton side. And that was the original kick in. Well, and that should have been 50 metres. A bizarre decision a by the umpire. 50 metres. I mean, those decisions are the ones that create this goal. 50 metres, all of a sudden, St Kilda on the attack. Instead of goals, kicked against them. Uh, great tackle from Brad Fisher, setting up the goal for Brennan Favola. Blues have their second, a little fortunate to get it. The kick in from Graham smothered by Fisher, no 50 metre penalty awarded. Another kick, and this time Carlton able to win the ball back and Favola kick the goal. Well their forward pressure has just been fantastic early. Come to play. Rick's getting the tap, but Ackland the ball. And he gives Simpson a chance for the Blues. Took them on, confident stuff, back to Wiggins eventually. Now Murphy. And now Carazzo, Carlton building again. Tough ball for Atard, he was courageous as he backed back Held fearlessly the and the Saints come up with the footy. Took the mark in front, held it. And Atard has actually been paid it. That was a very good effort. Did not flinch for a moment, got the reward. And it's a good kick too with the left foot, but well spoiled for the Blues by Bauer. Another one of their young brigade taking it over the line. I thought he was good last week, Bow. I thought that uh, he really contributed. There's something in him, I reckon. Well done by Rick, swinging it out. Chance for Blake, wrapped up by Simpson. He releases it. And Simpson is first to arrive, but the umpire calls for it. Good start, this, by the Blues. They certainly have, and they're running in numbers, Chris O. They're just lining up alongside one another, prepared to run and carry the ball. Carlton, Bow wins it out, but straight to a couple of St Kilda players. One of them, Del Sander, has got time and measures the kick towards oh, half forward. Hayes, little chip in, beautifully done. Adhard Bow did superbly. Did he push him out? No. A second chance for Adhard. Sanderson comes and crashes through him. And now Wiggins, deep in the back pocket, needs to be composed here. Well, he was composed enough to handball it through, realising there was nothing on, so a rush behind for the Saints. Safe option. Now Carazzo for the Blues to Lappin. Carlton with the first two goals. And uh, that's a good ball for Jackson, who has Harvey, as you can see, and uh, has been given a, a big job by his first game coach. Now Bannister into the 50. Fisher almost making the trap. Hudson pushed off it. Favola, Scotland, Carlton pressing again. If they kick the next, this gets pretty interesting. Oh, Halpin has the numbers against him here. St Kilda's ball. Baker to Del Santo. And now to Harvey as uh, St Kilda's star midfielders start to make their presence felt. Bad miss by Revolt. And White beats him. Oh, Halpin again. Carlton worked the ball clear. Bit of a chance here. Carazzo has time to size it up. One out. Fisher, Sam Fisher. Fisher makes the spoil against Brad Fisher. And the numbers are against the Carlton Fisherman. And Luke Ball sweeps it away to Graham. Gee, it was unlucky Brad Fisher. Thought he might have got a free kick, but Graham away now. And it's got plenty of time. Has a fourth bounce. Wants to go for Gehrig. Gehrig at the back of the pack. Big leap. Oh, almost got it. Now he finds it at ground level. Shovels it towards Blake. His handball, not great. Still a chance. This is Gilbert. Sweeps it to Del Santo, who's waiting patiently Scott at centre half forward. Buy some time. Around Bannister. Oh, Easily. Oh. Runs to 45, but his kick is offline. No, it's a goal. What a it's goal. curled back. What a kick. Ah, oh, St Kilda's first. Well, that was just brilliant play. He looked up. There's the hold on Brad Fisher. He had a Sam had a big piece of Brad's jump. jumper. Mm, yeah, he, he was probably unlucky. And this is the Del Santo effort. This was fantastic, Vossi. Well, he had nowhere to go. He had four Carlton players ahead of him. He thought, "Come and get me. I'm going to step around you." And then this this Whoa. just fades in. Just brilliant <laughs> play. That's that's really good individual play.
Brilliant goal by Nick Del Santo. St Kilda's first, and it's 15 all in a sense. Carlton lucky to get their second after an umpiring error. And in this case, uh, Sat Brad Fisher was a bit stiff not to get a free kick at the other end of the ground for the Blues. Carlton work it quickly and release Houlihan. Good user of the ball, has to wait. Goes for uh, for volley, awkward half volley. Good tackle, Hudson. St Kilda getting numbers around it. And there'll have to be a ball. Here's Favola attacking the difficult ball. Gee, did well to get the handball out. He fought on. Good play. Shepard out, Koenig. It's against you, Koenig. No, when he gets stopped. Some killer free kick. And Matthew Clark back in the team for the Saints. Taken at half back. And running straight at the man on the mark. He must have been wondering what was going on. Sam Fisher goes for Gehrig. Good placement, Gehrig able to wait, lead the bounce. And there's a hold and a free kick to Gehrig by the looks of it. It is. Oh. He wastes no time. Now has to balance. Couldn't use the left. <laughs> Uses the right exquisitely. And in game number 250, the G train kicks his first and puts the Saints in front. Well, there's the hold there as Gehrig tries to go to the ball, but this is a play that Fraser does over and over again. Wheels in on the left foot. This time he had to go back on the right, though, and that's not a sight you see often. Fraser Gehrig swinging onto his right foot, but it was precision. He should use it more often. Yes, great play from Fraser Gehrig. And a big job for Brett Thornton this afternoon. There's Jason Sennington. Well, he's trying to cut off the leads. He's pretty much... He's playing, on, he's playing on Gilbert at times there, but well, was early in the game. But he's just fading off his opponent and trying to get in front of Rearwalt. From the centre, Bursa, chance. Oh, he's wrapped up there by Simpson and also Carazzo going nowhere. So a secondary bounce. Loose player at the other end for St Kilda is Sam Fisher, who has played this role as a loose man in defence to perfection right through the season. Jackson, ducked ahead, got the handball clear. Del Santo... Big job for Bannister as Del Santo squares the ball dangerously towards Mill, but his hands are strong. And Houlihan perhaps should have done a little better there. He's set up for the spoil, but Mill stood his ground. Now goes across the ground, Gilbert, and the kick was perfect. And he's able to play on, short option. And this is Sam Fisher playing loose in defence, handball, linking it up to Burst, who couldn't hold on to it. Carazzo now mops up. Now the loose man for the Blues is Sennington. Oh, gee, tried to do a bit too much. And he's been penalised for a throw. So a St Kilda free kick, 45 from goal. And got to take, sometimes you just got to take the first option that they're, that's there, Bossy. Oh, you certainly do. Can't be too tricky there, but he lost the ball. He ended up throwing it. Handball off the ground from 50, driving kick goal. What's this one going to do? It's, this time it's just offline for the Saints. They lead by a couple of points. And in the coach's box at the moment for Carl, not, I'd imagine one of the concerns they have is this looks like it's going to go, it stays in, is Sam, Vish, Sam Fisher being loose in defence. Probably not the ideal person that Carlton want as loose man defence. He will rack up the ball and use it well. Lappin to Jackson. And he kicks well, a beautiful kick to Favola, who took two goes, but he can line them up. From outside 50, but it's within his range. Six goals, ten he's kicked in the last three weeks, so normally known for his accuracy. Hasn't had his kicking boot on the last three weeks. One straight so far here, and this to give himself a motivating start a little close to the man on the mark it is a thumping kick he's done it for Vola's second and the Blues are back in front well it was great ball movement by Carlton down the field the ball almost went out of bounds and then there was this kick here that was a beauty just out in front let Fev run onto it and he's a beautiful kick outside 50 probably none better It was a squeeze, but it made it home. Carlton lead. 
Brendan Favola, a couple of goals. John Barker, and Ross Lyon in the St Kilda box. And the Blues have had a, and made a good start to this match. They lead by four points. Clark up against O'Halpin. Clark into the path of Burst. Fiora, Baker, now Robert Harvey. Kick towards half forward, loose player who just leaked out of the centre. Nick Del Santo runs to 50, kicks it, got underneath it a bit and kicked it well wide. So a free kick to the Blues in the back pocket. That was a reprieve for Carlton. Blackpool took him at the ball up and then just seemed to uh, forget about him and Del Santo ran into space. Now Thornton for Carlton. And Blackwell poking it forward to Ackland, uh, to uh, O'Halpin, who, uh, whose skills aren't perfect at the moment, but he certainly has athleticism. Sam Fisher has this covered. Betts coming at him. And Burse and Baker for the Saints. Ready? Do that. Sam Fisher again. Three Fishers at one end of the ground. Two for the Saints, one for the Blues. It's against White for over playing Revolt. And back to oh, Sam no. Fisher. Didn't realise he had a man coming at him. He's gone. And Favola breaks. The goal is unguarded. What will this do? Oh, it does just the right thing for the Blues. Fed has three. Well, when you get the chance to be able to finish off your own work, that's got to be brilliant. that's got to be close to goal of the year. And I know we tend to say this from time to time about goals and get excited about the moment, but delay the tackle, pick the ball up, play on outside 50 and kick the goal. It, it's fantastic stuff. Brilliant. What a goal from Brennan Favola, his third. Amazing tackle, pick up and play on and goal from outside 50. Phenomenal stuff and got to be a candidate for goal of the year. So the Blues doing well early. Ricks gets it down. Del Santo's handball was even too slick for Montagna. Now Murphy coolly kicks it out wide. Saddington in space on centre wing. Can have another bounce if he likes. He does. He obliges. Runs to 60. Wants to knock Lord Gia. Don't know about that. Simpson back to Saddington. Now he's in trouble. Favola. Snap around the body. But they're always under pressure as Saddington took too long to release the ball. And the mark's taken by Sam Fisher. Carlton keep applying pressure. Delivery to Burse who wanted to get it off. Carlton lead by 10 points. His last 10 minutes is racking it up at the moment. This will be his eighth possession. Fisher back to Burse. Now Revolt on a long lead. Well done, Wait. Had the athleticism and acceleration to go with Revolt and was good enough to reach around him. Here's the bowler. And there was a tackle pick up. No one inside the Ford 50. So from about 60, he landed on the boot, got a lucky bounce. But what a wonderful goal from Brendan Favola. It's yep. the Blues. Go for it again through Gibbs. Couple of possessions to Gibbs. Now gives it to Blackwell. That's a good placement too for Lappin. And Carlton are dangerous. Here comes Fev again. Couldn't hang on to that one. And Sam Fisher's got it. Favola lying on his face, looking beseechingly at the umpire. St Kilda could hurt on the rebound. Fiora, a long kick of the ball. He goes long. He goes towards Gehrig. Strong hands. Favola complaining. But... <laughs> It's just, the fine, it's just fine game, this, isn't it? Like, ball goes down one end, perhaps could have got the free kick, and it gets rebounded, and here it is here. Had, had a definite hand there. There was a lot of bodies around, and it was it was missed Julie. And down the other end, Fraze clunks it and lines up for goal. Has one. Has two. Just squeezes it home. Saints needed it. get the feeling with Carlton, the pressure that they're applying. They've, they've started the game on their terms. They're getting it that way. Fev's on the move. There's a lot of enthusiasm. They're moving the ball with a bit of fluency. St Kilda are going to be in for a tough day. I think you could 
argue the case that the contact on Favola was incidental. So Big Fraser's got a couple, and Hudson and Favola engaging him. free kick, Marty, in the centre. Stupid from Favola. Brendan, I saw you. I so, I saw you go like We're not sure about the first incident. We didn't see what aggravated Favola. I don't know. I didn't say that. All I saw was you retaliate back at him, okay? There was the initial push. Let him run, let him run. So it's all resulted in a St Kilda free kick out of the centre. Hayes. Inside attacking 50, Revolt this time. Just got Saddington underneath it. Wait assumed that Saddington was going to have the contest. You can't afford to do that with your direct opponent. You've got to be third man up. Yeah. And Jared Wait just waited back there, expecting Saddington to do the job. He didn't. And Nick Revolt will kick from 50. Been pretty quiet. Coming in for just his second disposal. From 50 metres, drop putt. Swings back. And it's through. St Kilda in front. Well, that was Rearwalt's first mark for the match. Inside the forward 50, that's where they're most damaging. Just got the ball clear going forward. And as you said, Chris, so you can't anticipate your opponent flies, you fly. Brendan Favola has just given back one of the three goals he's kicked in the first quarter with his own temperamental excess, giving St Kilda a free kick in the centre. No justification for it, whatever. Let's himself and his team down. St Kilda back in front. O'Halpin. Saints there first, but Carlton still in this little contest. Baker to Fiora. Dancing out of trouble and kicking pretty well. Xavier Clark, Bannister with him. Carlton rotating its midfield oh, defenders. Bannister started on Del Santo. Message being given to Brendan Favola. Comes out to centre half forward, and that might have been the message. The rest he should understand. Good break by St Kilda here. Ball, very good last week. Revolt in the heart of that. Houlihan, Thornton, great tackle, Revolt. Terrific work rate from the St Kilda champion. Murphy bangs it clear. Not a bad placement. Betts can use his pace here. And Carlton are dangerous again. Another half volley for Favola. Terrific tackle, Hudson. And a ball up is the only outcome. Here's was a great pickup by Favola. Would you be persisting, right Michael, with right the right ploy right. to play the loose player back? It seems as though... Carlton are intent on doing that, but St Kilda would be happy to have Sam Fisher free. Yeah, they would. I'd perhaps try to alter the Sam Fisher situation. Sometimes you have no choice, but I'd maintain it for the moment, for sure. Bannister kicks high inside, attacking 50. And Fisher, not quite. Well done, Graham. And again, the numbers with St Kilda. Although Graham's kick across the ground isn't great. And they've got time, and then they've got the numbers. Burse, Cooley, hands off to Lee Fisher. Kick to Walt Hayes wasn't great, but he gets an accommodating bounce. Robert Harvey, a couple of players loose inside. One of them, Maguire. Maguire, back inside the centre square to burst, back to Harvey. And St Kilda away here. He kicks towards half forward. Fiora stretches and marks 55 from goal. Crowded forward 50, though. He kicks across the ground as a consequence to Hayes. And he goes back, so still 60 from goal. The Blues have got numbers back inside their defence of 50. That's what he confronts. Decides to kick it up into the pocket, looking for Revolt, and he marks strongly. Gee, that's a great mark. Saddington and Waite there, they were both there, but couldn't affect the spoil. And Nick Revolt will line up for his second. And you know what his strength is? He meets it at the highest point. There it is, right at the highest point, which makes it difficult when you're already that tall and then to be able to catch it like that in a contested situation well done well he's just 15 meters from goal angle reasonably acute that's what is ahead of him going at goal number two he kicks it
So Gehrig has two, Rewald have two, the big guns firing in this first quarter for St Kilda. Well, we were only saying three or four minutes ago that Rewald wasn't, ha wasn't having an influence on the game. But that's what great players do, like Rewald. They only need that five or six minutes to get going, and they can kick you two goals, bang, bang. The gun forwards have seven goals between them in this opening quarter. Gehrig and Revolt two each at one end. Favola three at the other. Saints have their biggest lead. Been an entertaining opening turn. Free kick to ball, pushed in the back. So Boys, some killers for him. Lead him up, lead him up. Just starting to get the better of this contest. Harvey down on his haunches, looking pain for the moment. Eddie Betts makes a steal against Hayes. Good win. Carazzo now for the Blues. Long to Fisher of Carlton. Jackson, Jackson, 70 Jackson, metres out meter. on the Jackson, flank. Thank you. Favola Jackson. hovers in the hot spot about 20 metres from goal. Kudafidis goes short just too long though for Lappin. Just got too much of it. And Lee Fisher takes it. Chance gone for the Blues. Now Sam Fisher for St Kilda. Still plenty of time left in this quarter. Free scoring affair. Maguire, Doc Clark back to Maguire, terrific oh. smother, Carlton working hard, Jackson, clever to Favola, oh, oh but a great oh, effort oh, by oh. Hudson. terrific defensive footy from both teams. That was brilliant by Hudson. Oh. there. He's got a lot of strengths, Max Hudson, but his oh, look ability, at that. his closing speed is just phenomenal. Yeah. So a boundary throw at half forward for the Blues, they need one here. Gibbs provides a contest, but the numbers with the Saints. Baker to ball. Now Maguire sits for him eventually. Lord awkward looking kick off a step, but luckily lands in the arms of Xavier Clark. Off to Lee Fisher. Plenty of Clarks and Fishers participating in the game this afternoon. Good chase down by Russell, but Del Santo is able to sweep the handball to Xavier Clark. Around one. Confronted by Bauer. So just chips it wide. And then the mark's taken by Stephen Mill. Stephen Mill, too far out to score, looking for Gehrig. This time getting across and chopping it off was Simon Wiggins. And we'll get a boundary throw in at half forward for the Saints. Carlton needing to stay close in these last three minutes or so in this quarter. Having done so well early in the term. Mill not able to escape there, neither could Harvey. Gibbs a chance for Carlton. Del Santo though, whisking it away, kicking cleverly. Revolt, skill tested there, Burse, Carlton with numbers around him, so it's a ball up. Good tackle there by Saddington, just turned Burse at the appropriate time, so that he didn't give the free kick away. Carlton's defence has been the leakiest in the competition, and it has a formidable foe against it today. Clark brings it down for St Kilda, but straight to Scotland. Well tackled, the old Doc does well to Montagna. Quick look, quick kick. Near miss, Saints lead by nine points. Nine goals in this opening quarter, Moulihan. Now he's got a long option in Russell, and he did it beautifully to get it to him. At half back for the Blues. Kick towards Lappin playing game number 250, but just set up enough for Xavier Clark to punch it over the line. So boundary throw in on the wing. Jumpers, guys. Clark, Matthew Clark doing battle against Aquin. Comes to Hayes. Now Harvey. Robert Harvey looking for an option. Back to Hayes. They're combining Wilson killed a Montagna. Well done, Murphy. Put the chase in. Worried him out of it. And there's a free kick, Carlton free kick. And Carlton fans think it's about time. And he'll go to Ryan Jackson, who's done some impressive things in this opening quarter. Saddington at half back for, for the Blues. Gives to wait. And now forward to Jordan Russell. Goes towards Lappin. Carlton being careful here. Don't want to give it up and get hurt on the rebound. Out wide to Houlihan. 
So in the last hundred seconds of the quarter, now the veteran, Kudafidis, hasn't had a lot of it in the opening term. Was that 15? Barely. Lappin goes for Jackson, who's got some space. And this is a chance for Carlton. He's had a defensive role. He can do something attacking here. Has it got the carry? Well, it didn't need it. Oh, Halpin. And did he mark it in the square? He says he did. And the umpire agrees. He knows the rules. And he wastes no time and kicks a very important goal for the Blues. He's certainly very excited about it. He plays with a lot of passion and spirit to be able to lift this team. It's Jackson who's the one that's really come on in this quarter, hasn't he? He's been important to be able to put that defensive pressure on and then offensively get off his opponent. And he set this up beautifully. So Tanda O'Halpin with his first goal of the afternoon. Brett Ratton on the phone. Blues down by three points, but they've played some good football in the opening quarter. They have, and there's Jackson on Harvey. He's got that matchup doing pretty well. He's getting offensively, doing a good defensive job, but getting off him as well. And ruck infringement. Which way will it go? How do you leg with him? Push him in the shoulder. There you go. No, you push him in the shoulder. Free kick to Kane Ackland. So a minute left in the quarter. Holding on. Ackland. 50 meters. Oh, dear. Jay Sue holding on. He's trying to run past. So I think that was against Xavier Clark. I, mean, I think it was against Mark Murphy. I think it was against uh, Simpson, actually. Uh, sorry. No, you're right. It was against, uh, Simpson against uh, Xavier, Clark. Xavier Clark against yep. Simpson, sorry. For some holding. Get the names holding right. <laughs> so there's Xavier Clark. So gift goal here for Kane Ackland. Now, watch it here. Yep, there's Clark just on the left of your screen, stopping and impeding Simpson running forward. So... This is to put the Blues in front as we count down to quarter time. Ackland, drop putt is a goal. The Blues in front. They've kicked six in the quarter. <laughs> Carlton by three points. And Kane Ackland perhaps a little fortunate, but uh, they've also had their share of bad luck as we watch it again. I sure have, and it's the impeding the run. We know that Carlton have the ability to be able to score. They've shown that throughout the year. They haven't had a good run, of, run at it in the last four or five weeks. But they're certainly here to play and could go in front at quarter time, which would be a big lift, lift for the team. Well, there were two kicks down. As I said, there were 100 seconds to go. And uh, they've now put themselves in front with two goals and still the best part of a minute left. Carlton's best start against St Kilda since 2001. Having a big opening turn. Oh, that was just about a free kick to Murphy. Bannister to Carrazzo. Carlton trying to build something here. Bets off to Scotland. A low skimmer for Favola. A kick coming at him on the half volley. Now he unloads a teammate. Still Carlton press. And they've still got time. Russell working it off to Carrazzo. Saddington, Russell back for another go. But now it's stuck and time might be against both sides. Perhaps, perhaps a chance for Carlton. Mark Murphy, was there a free there? Didn't have the footy brought down from behind. If it wasn't a hold, you'd say it had to be a push in the back. Yep, should have been a free kick. Ten seconds left. Carrazzo, third man in. Bannister working it off. Betts untidy with the hand pass. Jackson, Scotland. But time is gone. But Carlton can go to the first break pretty well pleased with that. They lead St Kilda. They've got it. <laughs> misreported injuries. Well, you know, I guess it's 90% right, but every now and then you get it wrong. Well, he's certainly in the action in the first quarter, Brendan Favola, so no sign of any injury there. There's Fraser Gehrig. And he's been a star at the other end with a couple of goals. But second quarter underway. The Blues by three points. Matthew Clark. Down to Lee Fisher. Del Santo dumped. Oh, you dumped in bed. Play on advantage. Well, advantage here was a slow call. Now the umpire's called it back now. I think the policy, the best policy in that situation, because players clearly stopped, you've just got to bring it back. 
I reckon you leave it in the players' hands, don't you? And if they, they must know what's going on. If they choose to go on, let it go. Yeah, but they also want a stat too. <laughs> well, that's true. But my argument is if the other team, all the players have stopped, well, it's not just a question of whether the, the offending player wants to play on or the player with the free kick. So anyway, Clark's got it. Matthew Clark just forward of the centre line. Chips it wide to Hudson. Maxi Hudson's got the job on Brendan Favola, chips it poorly, and the mark's taken by Wade. Oh, he caught one there from Stephen Wilm, did he? Fraser having something to say. But Jared Wade's got it in defence of 50 for the Blues. Goes long to Thornton across the ground. Jared Wade, a uh, little bit of theatre for the crowd here. Thornton covering some territory for Carlton and kicking well enough to Favola. What's he got in store in this quarter? That is dangerous. That was low percentage. Inviting disaster. Del Santo could make him pay here. Revolt. Gehrig on the lead and he's got it. And he's just... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. He's gold. Jared Waits. Dad of course. The late Vin Waite was a, a fiery, dangerous big defender for Carlton. He dished out more than his fair share. <laughs> well, look, the turnover in the middle of the ground, this is what costs you on the fast break. Gehrig for his third to put the Saints back in front. And he's done just that. Well, he's a big man. <laughs> you wouldn't want to take him on, that's for sure. He'd certainly throw his weight around, but it was that turnover in the middle of the ground. Del Sano on the fast break. This is where the defenders now get caught out. They're on the attack. And then a turnover like that does cost you. And the shot on goal eventuates. <laughs> no, big phrases, kick three. And a bad mistake by Brendan Favola. You bring the ball back inside the corridor. You've got to have the man free. But he kicked back into a contest, and St Kilda turned it over. And in the end, a Gary goal. So Saints now lead by three points. Ackland sits and waits. Lee Fisher inside the centre square. Drives it towards Revolt over his head. Chance for Milner. Gee, he was oh, held yeah. by Hulahan. I think a hopeful gesture there from Ryan Hulahan. Well, he, I think he knew he was gone yeah. because he had him in the exact spot that you need him to. And the ball bounced his way. That one there just knew that he was out of position and in desperation grabbed his jumper. So here he is, Stephen Mill. From 20 metres, kicks another one. St Kilda, two early second quarter goals. So a lot of the good work. The Blues were able to put together in that first quarter, undone there. There's the, the big hold of the jumper, twice in fact, with the left and right hands by Ryan Houlihan. And St Kilda, with those two goals, lead by nine points. And are back in control. So Stephen Milne's third kick gives him his first goal. Danger time for Cal. Games have been getting away from them. Big time, and uh, this is where it does get very dangerous for them. Carazzo here, and Murphy's on the end of it. He's had the job on Montagna, and he's done it well. Montagna just one kick, a shot at goal in the first quarter. Now it's Carazzo. Well, it's freed him up from the Baker tag also. The last time they played, he took him and really made life hell for him. Good kick for O'Halpin. Did everything right but catch the footy. And he looked a bit like an Irish hurler the way he went for that one. Carlton's first entry inside their attacking 50. Oh, gee, he might have got a chop there. Chop the arms free kick. Matthew Clark bringing it down. Kudafidis. Just too much curl on the ball, and it's easy for the same defence. Margin eight points, Jason Graham. Carlton employing a zone. He decides to try and kick over the top of that zone. He does it superbly. Hayes, and off to Gilbert. 
Slips the lap and tackle. Kicks it out wide to the run of Baker. Got plenty of space on the southern wing. Chance here as he runs towards half forward. High towards Revolt in from the side and he's got it. Great mark, Nick Revolt. Started the game slowly but really gained momentum in the latter part of the first quarter. Has kicked a couple of goals. Didn't really look to be in this contest initially. That's but reached rich. over the top of weight. And the double grabber is a beauty. So from 40 metres, what an angle to contend with. Drop punt looks pretty good. He's kicked three. So the Saints have come out of the blocks in this second term. They've kicked three goals in six minutes. And really now a big question for the Blues. They need to really buckle down kick a quick goal just to stay in the game. They certainly need to be able to just steady themselves through the middle of the ground and get a goal. In, get in, start to get into dangerous territory if they can kick clear, especially a power side like the Saints. Three goals straight to Nick Revolt. That's a good sign for the Saints, as is the scoreboard, which now shows them 14 points to the good. And getting away from Carlton. Ackland, former Saint. Montagna pinching his second kick there. Luke Ball had two against him. Saddington to Betts. And Jackson takes it. Been a good contributor for the Blues. Scotland. But uh, the path block. Jackson again. He's had Harvey and uh, he's done himself proud so far. Jared White could feel Garrick bearing down, but did it well. Saddington again. Now Murphy from a long way. Not a bad effort. Got the carry. Not quite. Gee, it was a close thing. Not quite enough on it though, Mark Murphy. Del Santo chips it to Harvey. Hey, Brendan! No, no, he's not off. Play on now, he is. Back to Graham. Play on! Call to play on. Yeah, he's got too much pace for Carrazzo. Drives it towards the centre of the ground where Revolt's made good position. Simpson couldn't spoil. The overlap provided by Hayes. Gary, the target here. He couldn't quite get there. Thornton does well. Bauer. Oh, gee, wasn't a great handball. Just panicked there, Bauer. Now Gehrig, hard up against the line, brings it back. Xavier Clark and Ball loose. Well done, Lappin. Just smothered Ball and ended up getting it. Well done. Off to Simpson, confronted by Gehrig. Just slipped the tackle. Saddington, gee, they've got numbers around the ball, the Blues. Scotland eventually clears the immediate danger and burst not quite. Well done, Simpson. Xavier Clark was equally courageous diving in for the football, and there's a bounce at half forward for St Kilda. Well, it was great defensive pressure there by St Kilda. When the ball was in their forward line, they really chased and harassed. You'd love to see your big guys get after the smaller guys. Fraser Gehrig setting the standard there and created this neutral ball. Saints by 13. Carlton still goalless in this second quarter. Betts working hard. High ball, awkward for everyone. Free kick. Brad Fisher. Carlton fans like it. Didn't look to be a lot in it. Jason Graham not exactly thrilled. Maybe a little hold, but uh, pretty minor. Fisher's gone to a one on two. Not a good, not a good option, you wouldn't think. Maguire to Harvey. Betts coming at him. Had to get it off. Baker back to Harvey. And the veterans away. And St Kilda strut their stuff. Hayes running into trouble. Eddie's got him. Free kick to Betts. Good win Eddie for the Blues. The ball. Eddie Betts on the ball. Eddie Betts on oh, the ball. Oh, gee. Graham tempting fate there. Took a long time to get the ball back. Gee, that was a good tackle. It was a beauty, wasn't it? Uh, Blues now at half back. Lappin chips it into the centre. Mark taken by Fisher. Lead a goal here, the Blues. Towards half forward. Ackland holding the back of the head. And after the Baker. Whack. Now, what's going to happen here? The whistle's going rapid fire. Um, and it will come back to Carrazzo. So, a little confusion. 
been great, Carazzo. I mean, he's coming up for his 16th possession. He's had a dynamite first half. The average is 24. So he's been one of their more consistent midfielders all year, Andrew Carazzo. Gee, that was an ordinary kick, though. And picked out Matthew Clark Clarkson Kilda, who handles the ball. Ball, left foot. Thornton's got to make a contest here, and he does. Well done. Knocks it to his own advantage. And again, they've got the numbers across half back, but it's going forward is where their problem is. Ackland off to Scotland. Scotland normally finds someone. He does this time. Lap and low down. Marks 50 from goal. Don't think you can kick it from there, Matty Lappin. Game number 250. Think it might be just beyond him. Gee, the Blues need one. They desperately need one. Chips it short. It's OK. And the mark's taken by Sannington, who's played loose in defence this afternoon for the Blues. And from about 50 or just inside the 50, a chance to kick Carlton's seventh goal. Trail by 13 points. Saints have kicked the only three goals of the second quarter after the Blues led by three points at quarter time. Across the face. And still in. And there's a soccer. It's hit there. It's a goal by Big Satander, I think. He's kicked the goal. And there he is, the Irishman. Amazing stuff. St Kilda, that's a shocking mistake on their goal line not to see it through. And the Irishman seized on the opportunity. He did. The ball hit the deck and he soggered it through. But it's the reaction of Maguire at the bottom of your screen. He looks around. He's pointing at someone going, what happened there? <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a great expression. He was dumbfounded. So a helping kicks his second goal of the afternoon and the Blues get a desperately needed one. Well, they've tried him in a few rolls. Now he's become an opportunist forward pocket. <laughs> a goal sneak. Well, that was the goal that they needed. We spoke about it. Uh, you know, as that play unfolded, it was certainly they needed it. They're hanging around. Ackland to Kudafidis on the breakaway. S uh, Sannington's gone on, forward and he's got right it again. On it. Stand right on it. He can have I another go. Right on, look, go on. He hasn't got the length in that kick. And I reckon that's a mark just inside. It, goes, it is. And uh, he gives it off to Del Santo, who needed to be good with that left foot. But as we know, he is. And he finds Blake. Blake, back to Del Santo, short to Gilbert. And Gilbert at half back. And I think what Carlton have done, they've pushed Saddington forward to man up Sam Fisher, who had a dominant first quarter. Lappin now loose in defence for the Blues as Graham just effortlessly runs through the midfield, drives it towards Revolt. Oh, push out there. Oh, it was obvious. Free kick to St Kilda against Jared White. Well, that actually wasn't the one I was talking about. I no, was looking at the ball. ball I yeah. Think, yeah, I was looking at the ball one where he got a push in the what's, back. What's the left elbow here of Jared White just copying oh, yeah. Revolt on the yeah. chin? That was the first free kick. The, yeah, the first free kick was paid. So, chance here, and this has been Carlton's problem all year. They look as though they're in control for a moment, and then a mistake. And the opposition can kick a goal. Nick Revolt this time misses. So here's Telly for the afternoon. Three goals, one. And Wake did the right thing there. He pushed back into his opponent, but he got him high. Okay, he got him high on that occasion, but he has to ground rear wall because when, he get, when he's getting a jump out at the moment, he's being able to take very clean marks. And there was a touch of his dad in that uh, particular gesture. Now Lappin has it off the kick, and so the margin eight points. Carlton a reprieve there with Revolt missing a, a very kickable shot. He's kicked harder than that today. Thornton's kick after Ackland, but uh, Revolt's got it again. He is on song today, the champion blonde-haired St Kilda Ford. So it's working it around and cleverly to Burse, who is on the edge of range out there, but it's a difficult shot. Former Bulldog. Bit of excitement as uh, the G train just went to the ground for a moment. Burst lines them up. And it's a good effort. He's done it. And the Saints stretch their lead to 14. Well, he had, he's sprinting off the field now. He had an important, important game about three weeks ago did burst and he's been able to maintain his spot ever since 
and has been a good contributor since. Robert Harvey taking a break with Shane Burst. And a wonderful kick there from Shane Burst. Gives St Kilda a 14-point advantage halfway through the second term. Ackland this time. Chance for Betts, who's been very good. Started on the bench. Kudafidis with strength. Couldn't quite get the handball, though, out to Blackwell. Betts again, well, cleverly done. Just got a boot to it and soccers it out wide to the advantage of Carazzo. Scotland, who normally sets things up from halfback Heath Scotland. Probing kick towards Russell. Numbers, though, with the Saints. Del Sando knocks it down to Xavier Clark. High to half forward. Scotland couldn't quite take the mark. Good contest from Ball. Mark Murphy, he handballed away to all. He's handballed, chopped off by Montagna. Now rebound a chance, 60 from goal, chips towards Fiora. And he marks comfortably, 40 from goal. Well done by Lappin, great smother. And a turnover in favour of the Blues. Betster gives him the cart and side away. It's unselfish from Fiora, but really he could have kicked that. And now Brad Fisher. So Carlton might be able to make something of this when it looked as though St Kilda was set to kick another goal. Ackland. Needs to be careful with this. Oh, Halpin, again, couldn't hang on to the mark, but he'll get a free. And the free kicks have evened out at 9 all. It's time Maguire not too happy. This might be beyond Satanta's range with the man on the mark out at about 53. But he's an ambitious young man. Conquering an enormous challenge by playing this game at this level. And his ambition comes to the fore again. Favola's there. No crummers for Carlton. Lee Fisher to Milne. And out of the back pocket, the St Kilda goal sneak. Goes for a surging run. That's not a great kick. Murphy was with Montagna, but uh, lost the contest. Revolt. Sam Fisher. Lee Fisher. And did well under pressure. Blake didn't quite pick up the mark. And Carlton are a chance here. Favola, a long way out. Again, there's no one at home. How will this bounce? Oh, it headed in the right direction. <laughs> but it just didn't land on the point. And Hudson mops it up for the Saints. And they can rebound. Baker off to Gilbert. And he's away. A bounce as he runs through the centre wing. Oh, again a poor kick. Well done, Saddington, to get a hand in there. Fisher. Sam Fisher. Oh, he's well tackled. That should be a free kick. This in to the Blues. And it is. And Matthew Lappin. Playing loose across half-back has been very effective in this second term. Well, a couple of, you, of his efforts have been fantastic. That smother and then that tackle really setting the standard for his team. High towards half-forward, but gee, it wasn't a great kick. Hudson marks uncontested. Off to Del Santo. Coming in for his 13th disposal. Probing kick towards half-forward. Well done, Scotland. And again, Lapp and mopping up. Scotland. Off to Bauer, who's caught... Oh, gee, he gave it to Carazzo at close quarters, perhaps didn't need to, back to Scotland, so chance they have to set up and just rebuild again wasn't a great kick and that's a boundary thrown at half forward for St Kilda and in Scotland will be disappointed with his kick there with Lappin 30 metres in the clear and this is the great tackle, well he had his arm by rendered, Lappin, rendered that useless and then Fisher had nowhere to go Saints by 14 Blake doing the ruck work. Murphy for Carlton. Good pressure from Baker. No. Held him for too long. Murphy comes out of it with a free kick. And it's getting a little willing. Well, he lost the ball and was then tackled. And the Blues get 50. Which might just douse this bushfire. So Mark yeah. Murphy to bring it Excellent. beyond the centre. Modest contribution so far, half a dozen disposals. Carlton finding it harder to find the way in in this quarter. Jordan Russell at the base of the pack but couldn't take the footy. Clark to Hudson to Maguire and the Saints are away. And they have the bases covered out on the city side of the ground. Hayes over the top for Revolt, who really has been the thorn. On tenure again. Good ball into the forward pocket. Milne 
throw in. Next goal important here. St Kilda to stretch the lead to the biggest it's been for the day, or Carlton to stay in touch. Ackland will do the ruck work for the Blues against Blake. Blake, which is way to the front. Murphy, Carrazzo, and now Bauer. And needs to use it effectively. Didn't quite find the target. The intended target was Simpson. And he made a good tackle, though, did Kate Simpson on Mill. And he's at the free kick. Pull the hand at half back for the Blues. Towards Fisher, who marks strongly in front of Graham. Blues need a goal. Margin 14 points. Brad Fisher at half back. And again, they're forced to go across with St Kilda getting numbers back. Ball movement by Carlton. Very slow. Bauer. Thornton. It's not such a bad play by Carlton at the moment. I mean, the game is now neutral. Saints were getting away, and Carlton have fought their way back into it. Now it's about capitalising on the scoreboard, though. Kudafidi's back to Scotland. Scotland now needs an option. Gee, I don't know about that one. Murphy's dragged down by Montagna. Plows the call, but they turn it over. Maguire, Gary, Grebock off towards Fiora, who's a wonderful kick from 50. Drives at Goldwood and just misses. But they wouldn't have liked that one to go through. <laughs> now, Fiora, seven shots at goal on the run this year, and he's missed a lot, which kind of belies his reputation. Now, Carlton have got to get some more fluent movement of the ball coming out of defence. Bauer kicks in the Favola direction, been well covered since his early burst of three goals. He works hard here. Holds it in for the Blues. Antard getting it out, though, to Burst, to Revolt. Still the Saints by 15 points in the last five minutes of the half. And this is a telling time. Revolt doing a power of work. Taken half a dozen marks. This will be his 14th disposal of the footy. He's kicked three goals, one. Probably should have been four goals. Fiora once more. Harvey breaking away a little too easily there goes for Gary. And the G train powers on and kicks his fourth goal in his 250th game. And the value, Michael, here of being able to play on. Yes. Rod Harvey, instead of going back off the mark and kicking to a crowded Ford 50, took his, the initiative, played on, and it opens up for you. And as a consequence, Gehrig was able to get free. Well, it creates movement forward of the ball and doesn't give the opposition a chance to be able to get back in numbers. And that's what Harvey did on that occasion. Uh, Brett Ratton, Gavin Krasiska there as well. Some real concerns. St Kilda have stamped their authority on this match in the second term. Oh, helping in the ruck, drags it clear. Betts couldn't control it. Blake finds it ground level for the Saints, but the umpire eventually calls for it. Well, they've just been able to muscle their way a little bit, St Kilda. The game was neutral, and they're just getting that extra goal, that extra goal that's keeping them in front, which is making it harder for Carlton. And when you're marking 20 times inside your defence of 50, it makes it hard for the defence. Kudafidis, Lappin, Betts, a little chip across the ground intended for Simpson, didn't get there. Gilbert a chance, wants his left side, drives it deep inside, attacking 50. Woolahan did well, he used his body to get Milne underneath the ball and then marks well. Betts, very good in this quarter. And chipping it to uh, Simpson. He took on Fiora, did okay, it kicked the judge, not 15. Carrazzo now, St Kilda, sensing that Carlton are just starting to weaken in their effort and really are applying the pressure. Carlton hold up in this play, Scotland, that's a poor kick. High ball, lot of loft and giving Favola a very difficult task. Numbers against him here, he fought on, but the numbers prevail. Baker to Del Santo. Three minutes left, and Carlton really need to hold up here. Well, the floodgates just could open. 
Maguire to the running Graham. Has to retreat for a moment. Gilbert outside. And the Saints continue to come down the corridor. Attard to Graham. Dangerous from there. Fiora. Good pressure. Carlton holding up. But Graham keeps going. And misses. <laughs> now that would have nearly been goal of the year. <laughs> Graham started from centre half back and ran all the way through to the mid in the middle of the ground to almost kick that goal. That would have been sensational. Vossi, do you reckon Brett Ratton's enjoying it? <laughs> I can see an extra grey hair already. I think we might have to have a talk to you at half time about uh, matters coaching. Michael Voss will be our special guest during the half time interval. Free kick to Hullahan on the wing. Any changes you'd make right now if you're a Carlton coach? <laughs> I said if. <laughs> no, Cohen, okay. Houlihan on centre wing. Chips it forward to Fisher. And had his arms chopped or over the shoulder. Take your pick. Get back. Take your shoulder down. And Don't free kick it. to Brad Fisher. Forward of the wing. Right on it. But the, the ball movement this quarter from Carlton has been so slow that the St Kilda have been able to get numbers back and it makes it so difficult to penetrate and get an option. No, oh, not 15. So Houlihan in real trouble here. Handball back towards Simpson and they seem to have been retreating all quarter of the Blues. Fisher, Brad Fisher, off to Luke Blackwell and his use is okay. Mark taken by Jackson who had a great first quarter and quieter in the second term. And off to Thornton. Thanks, Counting down to half time. 22 points the deficit the Blues face. Be good if they could sneak one here in the last 75 seconds of the half. So Halpin pushed and he'll take the free kick. Picked a couple of goals, big Satanta, so he's done his job. Back to wait. And again, not going forward but going across the ground to Saddington. Things just not opening up for the Blues. Saddington to Jackson. Jackson further afield to Carrazzo. So they're making absolutely no ground, the Blues. This time they go forward and Lappin marks. 75 from goal. A couple of kicks away. Matthew Lappin, game number 250. Kicks it in towards the pocket. And Fisher and Favola. Favola was held. No free kick. They tie it up at least and a bounce in the fourth pocket for the Blues. In fact, there will be a boundary throw in. And the Blues needing... A good play or an ounce of luck here. Badly needing to kick a goal in these last 21 seconds to go in with some hope at half time. Saints have been getting on top. Ackland with Ricks. Lenny Hayes, master in the clinches. Baker clears. Revolt. And that is paid his way. Presumably a free kick. And they don't want to give away 50. Jared White needing to give it up. Revolt, a dominant performance. Seven marks in this opening half. Had to come a long way up for this one. And the half just about done. There it is. St Kilda will go to the rooms with a 22-point lead after Carlton led by... ...real issue for them. They'll need to improve that in this third term if they're going to score enough goals to stay in the contest. Spot on. And we spoke about St Kilda and being able to play on. Harvey was a perfect example on the wing there didn't accept the man on the mark he stepped around him I mean you've got to have talent to do that no doubt but also to back yourself and there's Harvey in the middle there some guns there uh, but that's what you've got to be able to do you've got the forwards up there so why don't be bold and take them on hard for Carlton to have a winning mindset here to actually be playing to win this game well I don't think that's the job of the players the job of the players is to go out there and win the game Whatever management issues go on behind the scenes is regardless. The players are here to win. So the second half is underway. Carlton needing to make the early running to give themselves a chance here. And Matthew Clark penalised for the second time today at the centre bounce. Great old practitioner and he won't be happy about that. Simpson receives out wide and comes in board. Betts off a very good second quarter. Lappin to Murphy. Carlton forced oh, wide again. Oh, Betts roving to Russell. Favola and giving it back to Russell. Running into trouble. And St Kilda with hard numbers there. 
Baker to Sam Fisher, who unloaded the old mongrel punt. It wasn't a good kick and it wasn't a good placement because the Blues have three on one. Gibbs to Ackland to Bauer. Just not going forward confidently. Simpson trying to get it back to Gibbs and they've turned it over again, but they get it back. Simpson again to Bauer, can have a shot and kick a goal. Carlton get the first, it's a big one. Well, that was the goal that they needed, just to lift their spirits straight after, this, after the first half. Coming into the third quarter, they outnumbered them, a few turnovers, a few, just a couple, <laughs> and, and they got the ball going forward, drew the player Simpson, and Bowie was good enough to be able to finish. So, good reward for persistence for Carlton there. Second goal in league footy to Paul Bauer, and everyone enjoyed that. So the Blues with the opening goal of the second half, the margin back to 16 points. And we get play underway again. Ackland to do battle with Matthew Clark. And they sneak another one. Clark. Jackson couldn't control it. Carazzo, another disposal. Ackland hacks it forward. Out comes Big Satanda. Little fumble, though well taken by Fisher. Well, it wasn't a good handball. And that out in the way to Fisher, who's been outstanding, playing loose in defence. All for Vola. Almost got him again. Affected the kick. Then will cause a turnover as Betts swoops on the loose ball. And they can reload the Blues towards half fourth. Fisher free. 75 from goal. Chips it to Bannister inside attacking 50. Although it will require a superb kick from there if he was to convert. Favola wants it long. It started well. I wonder if the Saints have come out thinking the job's done. Jordan Bannister. This would inspire them, I'm sure, from just inside 50. It'll land in the goal square. Oh, a couple of big leapers. Lappin can kick a goal, and he does in game 250. So, two quick goals to the goals to the Blues, and the margin back to 10 points. Well, we spoke at the opening of being able to get that couple of goals, and now the crowd becomes a factor, and their spirit still lives. The life from the Carlton fans. Matthew Lappin in his 250th. And that one was a gift from the gods. He's been good. Back to 10 points. And this is an important half for Carlton. They've been consistently steamrolled in recent weeks after half time by more talented teams. They're facing that today, but they're fighting hard at the minute. Oh, Saddington should have marked that. Baker takes his spoil and slots it home for the Saints. Well, that's three times today, yeah. I reckon Jason Saddington could have marked, and he's played the safety option. In the old rule, if you've got clear space in front of you, take the mark. Yeah, Back yourself to take the mark. Yeah, the clear space between you and the ball, then you go for the mark. Maybe that's just a little bit of lack of confidence. But he certainly should have gone for it. So Stephen Baker with his first goal of the afternoon and there's the message to Jason Sannington and here, here it is again, he's got clear space in front of him and in that situation, you've got to back yourself and go for the mark, he didn't and as a consequence St Kilda score a valuable goal after the Blues got away to a great start in this third term, Acklin went too early, Clark thumps it forward, Betts who's been good, gathers, Carazzo under pressure to Simpson, oh, he's well wrapped up by Ball. And eventually it spills out to Bauer, who chips it wide to Jackson. Jackson's got a loose player on centre wing. Kane Ackland needs to use it effectively, and he does. Good mark taken low down by Bannister. That's better. Off to Jackson. They move it quickly, but the kick was poor. And Matthew Clark in the way for St Kilda. Yep, the idea was right. Clark to a two-on-one. Sam Fisher had a lot of the footy. It's be disposal number 15. It was quite in the second quarter, but certainly started on fire. And that wasn't good. He's kicked poorly a couple of times in this quarter. Betts cleverly to Lappin. 
who is a goal kicker and has to be a chance from there despite the severity of the angle. Six to one in favour of the Blues inside 50s for this quarter, so they've made a good start. They're certainly dominating possession also. And the general flow of the game has been a bit like this, even though Saints got out to a good lead. Carlton have just been hanging in there. So this is a big kick. Skinny Lappin, the proverbial drowned rat. It's out across the face. Still alive, was for a moment, eventually threw for a behind. And the margin is 15. Nick Del Santo has had 15 disposals. He was uh, very, very good last week, Del Santo. Had 31 disposals. Kicked the goal. St Kilda's good win over Hawthorne. Hudson. Who played game number 200 last week. It's not a great kick. Eklund a chance to chop it off. And now he's outnumbered. Gets support from Sannington. Well, it was an effective support. Still they fight on. Oh, great interception there. By Maguire now. Hayes a chance. Over the top. Baker under pressure. But he was able to slip the handball cleverly to Hayes. Who drives it deep inside. Attacking 50. Gehrig at the back was held. Thought in the fist. Spells to Rewald. Who tries to bring it back. It's working its way back. But not far enough. Now behind us and killed up. Margin just, back to 16. Just straightened up at the end, didn't it? Looked like it was bending. Then just late, straightened up. Carlton still competitive in the game. Thornton goes for Lappin. Gilbert with him. So I'll throw in. Interesting phase of the game. St Kilda were getting right on top. Late in the first half. Carlton coming out, breathing just a little bit of fire. Simpson for Carlton. Kept it alive. Confidently. Well done. And the acting captain in recent weeks. Good stuff, but the kick not so hot. Now Sam Fisher, who's turned it over twice in this quarter, careful about that kick. Oh, open side. Saints. Gilbert to Maguire. Now the tall timber dangerous. Revolt in the middle. Gehrig weighted down at the back. Jackson hammers it away for Carlton. Russell shoved off it by Blake. Ricks, Luke Ball, and that's pretty good, but Milne just rushed at it, and it's mopped up by Waite for Jordan Russell, and Carlton hold up. Russell at half-back, and across the ground, Joe Waite called to play on, he's got a short option, Mark taken there by Bauer, back to Gibbs, now Saddington. He's got a loose player four to the play, Jackson, who played very, very well in the first quarter. A little quieter in the second, but the player of the future, perhaps. Kicks wide for Vola, but Hudson, again, his closing speed is phenomenal. And he's able to get a fist on it and force a boundary throw into the half forward for the Blues. And that's the example that we spoke of. The player broke into space, but he didn't play on. He went back behind the man on the mark, which slowed down the play. And Burst knocks it straight back over, so another boundary throw in at half forward for the Blues. And look, that comes with a bit of experience, young Jackson. But you certainly got to be able to, if you get that metre or two space, take them on. Good contests at either end of the ground. For Vola, three goals early, all in the first quarter. Gehrig's kicked four and Revolt three at the other end. And in between, some really good midfield battles. Murphy has reduced Montagna's impact. Jackson did a brave job on Harvey early. Advantage called here and Fiora breaks away for the Saints. Now Baker, who's doing some good uh, attacking things. Good kick to Gary. Oh, yeah, Perfectly well. weighted on the G train. Runs in and rams home his fifth. And the margin stretches to 22 once again. That was what started it, and then the advantage call really set up Aaron Fiora. Well, again, the players, all the Carlton players had stopped on the whistle. Well, and in that situation, you've, you've got to pull the ball back. There's Brett Ratton. A little concerned. First game as coach of the Blues. And St Kilda back to a 22-point advantage. Ricks wins it down. 
Taken though by Scotland, high around the body to half forward. Fisher, Fisher of St Kilda comes to meet it. Kudafidis, little paddle towards Favola, effective. Draws a couple of players, handball back to Scotland. Carazzo in support, but can't, couldn't get towards Houlihan. Favola, Fiora's wrapped up by Carazzo, going nowhere. And the umpire calls for a bounce at half forward for Carlton. Andrew Carazzo, 29 disposals, not quite halfway through the third quarter. Ricks gets it down, big backer players around the ball, Bauer dives in on top of it, going nowhere, and the umpire forced to call for it again. Come on boys, you've got to give me room going out, alright? Hey, Tuffs. Don't hold jumpers around the pack. We can't go straight out, give me some room. Give him some room, says umpire Nichols, and the players oblige as Ricks knocks it down. Chance for Carazzo, almost was able to gather as he worked it through the congested pack. Uh, but it's going nowhere again, and almost rugby style. The Blues working it now inside their attacking 50, a bounce 45 metres out. They've just got to keep putting that pressure on, Carlton. They've been able to get a couple of stoppages. Just keep persisting, and it'll turn for them. Favola doing the ruck work with Ricks, Gibbs, just couldn't break. Burst to Del Santo, oh brilliant. Twinkle toes, superbly done. Goes wide, and the line was his insurance. See it guys, Peter, take it out Peter. Beautifully skilled player is Nick Del Santo. St Kilda by 22 points. Again, Carlton needing the next goal to stay in touch. Keeping it tight, Bauer bringing Xavier Clark down. Middle stages of the quarter, and Carlton using the ball a lot more than the Saints in this term. Kick the first two goals, but the Saints have answered them. Fiora likes that third man in roll to Harvey, to Ball, to Montagna from a long way. Gary dangerous again. They double teamed and did it well. Well, that was forward momentum football. They got the third man up and got their midfield ru midfield running, and they nearly almost kicked that goal. Murphy out of defence to Blackwell. Back to Murphy. Good running, taking a chance. That's what the Blues have to do. Saddington now, who's played loose in defence. Handball off to Houlihan. Wide. Russell. Oh, gee, I thought he did enough there and paid the mark. Not paid, though. Carlton fans don't like it. Russell, 65 from goal. Little give to Bannister. Oh, gee, a skyscraper forced to kick it high. In from the side. Oh. Brad Fisher, what a mark. Gee, St Kilda had numbers around the contest, but Brad Fisher was the one who wanted it. And he's marked 25 metres from goal on about a 50-degree angle. He had his immediate opponent there, Blake, and also had Sam Fisher coming in from the side. There's Sam Fisher, but neither St Kilda player could impact the contest. Fisher comes in, drop punt. Oh, dear. Gee, they needed that, the Blues. But off the line, a poster. Margin back to 22. Baker the option for the long ball on the kick in. Carlton competitive in this third quarter, no question about that. But just finding goals that much more difficult to kick. Gehrig and Revolt have made the task look simple at the other end all day. And that really has been the difference. Simple as that. Maguire now for St Kilda. Chopped off. Jackson. Now Simpson as the Blues come again. And they certainly haven't rolled over. Simpson keeps coming. Just couldn't get out of there. And the Saints have the crummers. Hudgeton giving it off. Sam Fisher breaks. Again, he hasn't placed it to great advantage for the Saints unless Revolt can make something of it. Tight spot. Carlton with numbers there. Gibbs to Bauer. And now it's Blackwell. And the delivery good to Bannister. As Carlton have a, a look of uh, oh. aggression about them at the moment, and that's beautifully delivered. And Favola can line them up from well within his range. Gee, that was a great kick from Hallahan. Only covered, well, covered about 40 metres, but I reckon about two metres off the deck and just punches it. Just brilliantly done. Never been any question about his ability to use the ball with his feet. Same applies to this man. Using that modern 
the previously unorthodox grip. One hand lower than the other. From on the 50. Important kick. And he's hooked it. Carlton missing opportunities. The difference is 21 points, but they're not out of this game yet. No, they're not. And we had a terrific shot of the way that he grips the ball. It is unique. It was even probably embraced by Rear Wallet there at some stage, wasn't it? Nathan Brown, I think, used it as well. I'm not sure whether he yeah, still does. Yeah, he does. So Sam Fisher, another possession. This time it's a handball to Blake, back to Fisher. Good chase from Russell, but he was able to get the long kick towards half on Rebold in a good spot, he marks. Great extension of the arms. And then he's center half, at centre half forward. Too far out to score. 55 from goal. There goes Gary. Kick in his direction. Gives at least Fraser something to work with. Good oh, handball. Hands. Beautifully done to Fiora. Fiora snaps and misses by a long way. Out on the full. And you'd expect better from him. 20 metres from goal, but uh, it wasn't the case. And Chris, oh, with uh, Simon Wiggins already off with that hamstring, Anthony Kuferdis has come off in the hands of the trainers. He's gone down to the rooms. It appears to be a lower leg-related problem. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as we get confirmation of that. Fiora, a zero out of eight. Shots oh. have gone on the run this year. There's an awful turnover. And Gehrig can line them up for number six. Well, St Kilda are wearing the alternative strip. Kate Simpson could not possibly have uh, made a mistake on the basis of uniform, except for the fact that Fraser Gehrig is the man in black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you release that ball as a kick up, it's not nice. For number six, he's missed. Carlton escape. The margin is 22 points. That's as it was at half time. Carlton have actually been the better team in this quarter, but haven't quite been able to maximise the advantage that could have been theirs. Blackwell storms from half back and a kick towards Betts and Baker. But again, Sam Fisher working across to provide the extra number, and he's done it superbly all day. Picked up 20 disposals and 11 marks. And I just wonder whether at some stage Brett Ratton might try and man him up to at least give his forwards an opportunity because Fisher is doing so well and has done right from pretty much the opening bounce. Chance for Blake, wrapped up by Russell. And Pai lets it go for a moment, but we'll get a bounce. And it's an interesting discussion, that, because at some point in time, I think it's been not too bad. It's worked for Carlton, it's also worked for St Kilda, having that loose man back. But at some point in time, you've got to win this game, and you have to be able to change that scenario. Ricks. Knocks it in the direction of Hayes. He was taken down by Blackwell. No free kick. Hoolahan. A little taken high by Blake. And Ryan Hoolahan, the free kick. On centre wing. Blues trailing by 22, but not out of it altogether. Kick towards Lappin. In from the side. Blake does well to fist it over the line. So a boundary throw and an attacking 50 for the Blues. The roof has been open for this game. It's starting to become a bit cloudy overhead. And uh, perhaps there's a bit of rain on the way, but um, I think a good decision to play this one with the, the roof open. There hasn't been much sun and uh, too many of those somewhat disconcerting shadows, disconcerting for viewers, and sometimes difficult for players. Carazzo centering for Carlton. 30 possessions too, Carazzo. He had 25 at half time. He was on schedule for 50. Now Milne for St Kilda. Revolt with the box seat here, and that's a free kick against Bauer. You've just gone straight at the man. Can't argue you with that. Revolt's ball there. places it well. Xavier Clark. But a shot would be ambitious from there. Not unachievable. Left foot up. Tough spot. Should be easy for the defence. So it's a behind, and the difference is 23 points. Six and a half left in this third term. And if Carlton could score a couple of goals in that time, we could have a last quarter on our hands. We could indeed, as Hoolahan kicks to lap into Saddington. And Jason Saddington's played the same role for the Blues as Fisher. Sam Fisher has played for the Saints. Saddington hasn't had as much of the ball, though. Although he's had 16 disposals, so he's certainly played a role. Carazzo again, going back and across. And we've seen this a fair bit from Carlton. Murphy. Gibbs. Still inside defensive 50. 
Kiratso again racking them up. And this time he decides to go forward with a bounce. Kick towards the leader for Violet. Had too much on it. And Atard at the back. Good pressure from Gibbs, but he slipped the handball wide to Hayes. Hudson. And the Saints now looking to build another attack as Graham has got it from Hudson at half back. Not too much to go to. Good chase from Betts. Well done though. Atard back to Graham, who's such a wonderful runner. Kick towards half forward is okay. Mark taken by Harvey. And he's got Sam Fisher for him wide, decides to kick short instead towards Revolt. Oh, they mucked that up there. But Revolt from 30 kicks a goal for St Kilda. He's kicked four. Well, momentarily, the kick was intended for Revolt, but they almost mucked it up there with Montagna cutting across, but Revolt was good enough to gather it and convert from 35. Well, Lynchy, the big Lynchy, didn't like uh, little blokes running in his space. And I'm sure Rearwalk doesn't either. <laughs> Four to Revolt, five to Gary. Nine of St Kilda's 13 goals. And there's a matchup that's been all day. And Murphy's had 13 possessions and Montagna six. Murphy, they both haven't had a big influence on the game, but you'd say Murphy has certainly done his job there and done it well for his team. Saints by 29 points. Scotland hard at the ball there to Gibbs. And now Russell for Carlton. Long but aimless. Not a good decision there by Russell. And Attard's in the way. Baker now for St Kilda. Saints... With a 29 point lead, it's their biggest margin of the day. Fiora goes for Blake, misses him, but still gives him a second chance. Carlton with two against him. Russell again. That's a better decision than the last one. Lappin, no, no, Halpin. Lappin again. And he goes for Ackland. Too far out to score. And Carlton having trouble manufacturing anything inside their 50. Been so Favola reliant in recent years, they don't really have too many other answers. So Ackland just sits it up in hope. Fisher has to go from behind for the Blues, but it dropped short. And Hayes took it comfortably, gives to Harvey. And now out wide to Blake. Blake at half back. But really, Carlton playing into St Kilda's hands there by kicking it long and high to the contest because the Saints have had the numbers there all afternoon. Blake's long kick towards half forward. Oh, gee, an indiscriminate leap by Waite. Wasn't penalised. And he just goes back and tracks it over the line. Jared Waite, 11 disposals, couple of marks. Had the job all day on Nick Revolt, who's been very good. 19 disposals and eight marks and four goals too. Clark will def tap to the back advantage. Montagna kicks it towards the lead of Mill and Mill marks on his chest. Gee, that was beautifully orchestrated from the stoppage by the Saints. Well, spot on. It was space was over the back. That's where they ran to and that's what they created for themselves. Montagna ran onto it and was good enough to put it out in front of Mill. Well, he's kicked one. Hasn't played a huge role today. Just eight disposals. But from 50, Stephen Milne just tugs it to the left. So the margin out to an even five goals in favour of St Kilda. It's an important part of the game right now for, the, for Carlton because if they can get their couple of goals, or at least one, it keeps them in with some chance. They, and it gets them up into the three-quarter time huddle rather than coming with their heads down. They've fought hard, they've toiled hard. And they deserve a goal here to keep themselves in this game. And if they could get into the game in the last quarter, you never know what might happen. Yes, exactly. There would be a real bubble about them, you'd imagine. But uh, the first task is to try and get back. And St Kilda, with just too much heavy artillery, looked like preventing them from doing that. Scotland gives to Brad Fisher. And back to Scotland. Uh, he has two men heading out the other side. The first of them is Saddington. And now it's the corridor. Ackland's on a lead. That's where he goes. Lappin there too. Just escaped him. 
Baker, Harvey, and Baker again. Harvey once more. Burse, Hayes. St Kilda midfield has been held by Carlton. Good, strong pair of hands there from Fiora. He's looked dangerous today, but hasn't been able to crown his work with goals. Long way from home. So is the G-Train. Up almost in the centre. Methodical placement here, but it just didn't have the carry to reach Milne. Who gives away a free kick. Murphy's ball for the Blues. Mark Murphy across to Scotland. Now Bannister. But gee, it's hard work for the Blues. Laborious stuff. And as he gives it to Scotland, short again. Thornton thought about going forward, then retreats. Back to Blackwell. Sweeps it to Scotland. So here they go again. Oh, kick to a contest, a short kick to a contest. And they've turned it over. Hudson off to Xavier Clark. Here they come. Kick towards Revolt. Over his head. Chance for Stephen Milne. He won't miss this opportunity. Walsh is in. Dribbles it through for another goal. His second. Uh, we talked about the Blues kicking one before three-quarter time. Well, it was St Kilda. That was the mark by Fiora. But again, a turnover. And one thing you can't do is kick short to a contest. And that's what the Blues did. Well, and we, we spoke about it earlier, about them going sideways and backwards. And when they looked up, St Kilda had the numbers there, which forced that short and the turnover. So Kudafidis getting ready to come back and give it another go. As St Kilda get away to a 36-point lead, close to three-quarter time. Scotland for Carlton. Oh, just getting the ball out of the boot, Jackson. Burse. Simpson, though, for the Blues, comes away with it. Desperate for a goal here. Favola was uh, well held there. Gilbert. And kept alive by the Saints until Hudson takes it through. I like Simpson in the middle of the ground today. He's been injected in there for some extra run and carry. Things being pretty good, pretty solid. Sam Fisher to Baker. And Baker able to play on now. Called to play on Sam Fisher. But easily gets the handball towards Baker. Back to Sam Fisher who mungles it out of the immediate danger and over for a boundary throw. And so not the greatest passage to play from the Saints, but uh, they've got it to the wing from the kick-in and leading by 35 points, close line. to three-quarter time. Don't think they could be happier. On, hang on. So Matthew Clark and O'Halpin to do the right work. Clark again try to work it towards the back. Hayes running forward to the play. Montagna couldn't quite pick up the loose footy, but keeps his balance and keeps it going, chocking it forward, getting through the pack to Revolt. Milne, or oh, a little fumble. Hamble wasn't great, but he still fumbled. And... That was the difference between being able to convert right on the three-quarter time siren. The three-quarter time at the Dome, and the Saints led by 22 at halftime. Find them sure it, it certainly is, and they need to play out the game very, very hard to be able to just give them that chance. But, of course, players, they can't think of that. They've got to go out there and still do the fundamentals that gets them this lead. Andy Ma, did you have something for us? I was just saying, uh, you saw that shot at Cuda, Tim, and uh, since he uh, re-emerged from the rooms underneath the stand, he's been working on those groins constantly, so he's obviously got a little problem there. Thank you very much, Andy. Well, just can you keep an eye on him, make sure he keeps working on his groins as Hayes now takes groins. it. Off to Gilbert, high towards half-forward. Baker, forced to spoil in the end. Now Del Santo on the non-dominant side. Hoists it high, Revolt and Milne, good fist this time from Houlihan, Scotland, off to Simpson, delayed the handball to Carazzo, again they're always under pressure it seems Carlton, back to Houlihan, this time some space as he kicks intelligently to the wing, great kick in fact setting Simpson away, this is a big build up here for the Blues, a couple of bounces, can he find a target? kick towards Favola. Through him, chance for Fisher. Graham corrals him on the boundary line and it hits the behind post and should be a boundary throw in. It's not that yet. Call it. It it'll be a ball up. It it was, was, a, was, a, was, was I seeing definitely things? Hit. No, definitely hit. Well, it's uh, a big miss there, but it matters little. Let's have another look at it. 
Well, he oh, might have stopped it not. right. He might have stopped it right before it hit the post. Out towards Fiora and. A chance for Carazzo. He dives back in on top of the football. Baker, a chance here for St Kilda. Wrapped up by Betts. Got it away. Or pushing the bat. No free kick. Well done, Russell. Russell now. 60 from goal. Drives it to the top of the goal square. But it's all St Kilda. But oh! Fisher in from the side. He beat four of them, Brad Fisher. And he's marked 25 from goal to breathe some life into the game. What a mark from Brad Fisher. Well, Sam Fisher almost looked like he didn't know what to do and didn't get his body behind the ball. And he's plucked a couple of really good, nice marks today, Fisher. So the St Kilda defenders all looked at each other. Brad Fisher now from directly in front, 25 metres, kicks a goal for the Blues. That's his second, and the margin back to 29. Well, not out of it, the Blues. No, they're not, and the competitiveness has been pretty good for most of the game. There was a period of time through the third quarter where all their runs stopped. And it looked like it was St Kilda by how much. But their effort, they just keep coming. And that's all you can ask, is that competitive effort. Battle of the Fishers won by Brad that time. So Brad Fisher's second goal. Carlton have started every quarter well. Again, they kick the opening goal and the margin is 29 points. O'Halpin and Ricks in ruck. Ricks a bit uh, tall and experience for O'Halpin there. Look it out, look it out. Be another oh. ball up. And another key movement that happened just before three quarter time also was that Carlton have chosen not to play that loose man. Ricks winning again, but straight to Betts, who's been confident in the traffic. Goes to Simpson. Doing well. And he gives to Jackson. Carlton pressing again, looking to make the early running and then hope that they might be able to really throw a challenge at St Kilda. And Favola can have a shot. He hasn't kicked one since the opening term in which he kicked three goals. This is his moment. Can I take that loose man statement back? Of course yes, you sir. can. I'll, I'll take it back. <laughs> There is a loose man. Yep, Sam Fisher still playing loose for the Saints inside the Carlton attacking 50. This to reduce it to 23. And again he's missed. He was kicking beautifully in the first quarter. But the magic is now eluding him. And the difference is 28 points. So Nick Del Santo. No, there's a free kick here, uh, paid by umpire Ellis. It should be at the square, top of the square. Top of the goal, kick off line. Top of the goal square. Some confusion there. Down there. Down here. Jordan, your kick, OK? Let's have a look at this. In the middle of the ground. In the middle of the ground. Well, Carlton player put down. And up by Ellis right there on the scene. Jordan Bannister, the player, and he waltzes in and kicks a goal for the Blues. Mm. Margin 22 points. So Nick Del Santa expresses his disgust. But uh, initially, I think, some confusion by the umpires as we watch it again. Look in the middle, middle of the screen yeah, there. At the 50 metre line. And he's been put down, Murphy. Murphy was the player that got put down and a correct, correct adjudication at the top of the goal square. In three of the four quarters, Carlton have kicked the opening two goals. In each of them, their effort has eventually wavered. Right now, they're within 22 points, and they're near enough like, to make something of this. Del Santo puts St Kilda forward. But Carlton hold up. Scotland, stout mark. And the Blues work it clear to the big possession earning Carazzo, who delivers for Lapham. Just a bit low for him. And Graham mops up for St Kilda. Carlton applying pressure, but Gilbert coolly gives to Hayes. The next goal is a big one. Hayes 
Lovely kick, Sam Fisher running out of defence, unattended. Now, this is an important kick for the Saints. Revolt's waiting at the 50. That's where he's gone, he's in the heart of that pack, but Bauer, in from the side, got a hefty fist on it, and it'll be thrown in. Paul Bauer, done a couple of good things today, just playing game number seven. There's Cooter, discussing his chances of coming back on the field. Comes down towards Bannister. The goal a few moments ago, or not much to go to. Be careful, Jordan. And he's tackled from behind. And advantage to Del Sando. Walsh is in from 30. And misses. Gee, he'll be disappointed with that, Nick Del Sando. Could have iced the game, but... Gee, it was um, poor play out of defence there by the Blues. Highly ambitious. He goes Thornton. He moves beautifully in those situations. Spent most of his life in recent years just having to try and stop big forwards. Bannister atones for his error a moment ago and gives to Jackson who goes to Lappin and Favola. Lappin has to get it out. Jordan Russell scoring chance. Wooden curl back. Another miss. They trade misses. And the difference. Go is back to the middle of the ground. And just the play on. And almost got that mark. And there's the Russell miss. Uh, St Kilda now. Um, Hudgston. Wide to Blake. Loose player on the wing. Lee Fisher, although it didn't get there. Well done by Favola. Snaps goal with Brendan Favola. Will he get a good bounce? He will. It's a goal. He's kicked four now. Brendan Favola. Just the tonic the Blues need. Back to 16 points. And, well, they've kicked the opening three goals of this final quarter. And St Kilda now with some worries and concerns ahead. I'd love to see that replay. That was great ball. Great ball control by Fev. Gee, he's kicked a, wonderful, a couple of wonderful goals today, Brendan Favola. And this is when he's on. And what's the ball control there? He just throws it on the boot. But almost, it was just wonderful football. He just had to trust his instincts there to get the ball to boot and caressed it through almost. He could have taught Murley a thing or two with that little off break. Carlton coming at St Kilda. You can sense something here. St Kilda badly need a goal. Hayes to Del Santo. There's their go-to man, Revolt. He was looking for the free. Fiora to oh. Revolt. Desperate Carlton, Saddington to Smuller. Ball over the footy. The Blues all over him. And there'll be a ball up. Jeez. We have a game here. 16 points in it. And as we surmised in the third quarter, if Carlton could get a sniff, they could be dangerous, bearing in mind the events of the week. Fisted away for Carlton, but straight to uh, Montagna. Carrazzo pulling him off the kick. Been a quiet day for Montagna. Hayes. Long ball, Revolt getting there but couldn't get there. And Simpson, who's been very good for Carlton, has the footy, gives to Thornton. <laughs> Gary closing but just a little late. Carlton have had some problems getting out of these situations during the day. St Kilda good at closing in on them. Thornton has a good target, Eddie Betts. Been a hard working midfielder for the Blues. 16 points in it. And a lot of football left in the quarter yet. Bauer to Scotland as the Saints start to sag back. Here go the Blues again. There's no one in the 50. Scotland doesn't have anywhere to go. He's probably lucky the kick was smothered. It gives Lappin half a chance. Good trap for Carlton by Bannister. Now Jackson again for Vola. Still a chance for the Blues. Murphy, oh, good tackle. brought down by Sam Fisher, got it out, stays alive. Del Santo giving it off, Sam Fisher. Now, Fiora versus Simpson. On a shared, Simpson wins the exchange, but not by much. There'll be a throw in. It's a game now. Gee, Simpson's been good in the second half. Andrew Carrazzo, 35 disposals. Gibbs comes onto the ground for the Blues. 
Can they keep their momentum going here? Matthew Clark gets it down. Betts, who's been very good this afternoon. Gibbs, good handball forward of the play. Chance for Jackson. Oh, just had a bit of a look and was a bit lucky to get the free kick. He's got a loose player inside the centre square. Gibbs. He's got a runner outside, Jared Waite, well played by the Blues. Now Satanaro helping is free just inside attacking 50, but Waite ignores that. Kicks wider towards Betts. Graham leads him to the ball. Oh, great tackle. That was an ineffective disposal, I thought. No free kick. Again, the Blues are just lifted a couple of notches at keeping the ball inside their forward line. And we'll get a bounce on attacking 50. Well, I think they feel like they've got more than a sniff. This is great defensive pressure by Eddie Betts. Real tension about this now. St Kilda cannot afford to lose this game. And suddenly their opponent is dangerous. Clark in ruck for the Saints. Fiora. But Carlton holding them up. So there'll be another ball up. More than half a court to left. And less than three goals in it. Tell you what, if you were... Carlton's next coach, Tim, you'd be pretty happy with the way they're fighting on, wouldn't you? Well, you would. You'd see a lot of potential in this group. <laughs> Betts almost taking that with him. Hayes to Harvey, to Del Santo. The old firm for the Saints, getting them out of a tight spot. Revolt there, Milne waiting down. Scotland cleverly to Houlihan. Just not enough on the kick. The idea was right. Saddington again, oh. but the Saints have them covered. Revolt having to work his way up beyond the centre. Cooter brings Del Santo to earth. It'll be a ball up. Well, Cooter's obviously got a few issues with his body currently, but he said, put me back out there. I want a piece of the action. Matthew Clark gets rid of our help and knocks it down. Carazzo again, working hard, earns the free kick. No advantage there. So Andrew Carazzo, disposal number 36. Can he find a target inside a crowded Ford 50 towards Favola, but Fisher cutting across. Now, a free kick to St Kilda. What force says Brendan? Not quite sure whether he was the offending player. She <laughs> there wasn't much in that, was there? That was... Now, Fisher just takes off, and Brendan Favola a little slack on the mark. Should have put more pressure on. High kick towards the wing. Blake, not quite. Clark, Matthew Clark, wrapped up. No genuine attempt to get rid of it, although he didn't have prior no, opportunity. No chance. Yeah, no, we'll no chance. Locked straight away. Thank you. So a bounce on the wing. Acklin against Matthew Clark. Hayes dispossessed. Harvey, was he pushed? No. Carazzo. Gibbs tries to shield the ball. Blake. Handball back to Fisher, and off to Luke Ball. Across the ground to Gilbert, so here's an opportunity for the Saints. Free running, as Gilbert charges up the middle of the dome, draws a player, hands it off to Burst. Burst kicks towards the lead of Milne and Hayes. Milne does brilliantly to Mark Lowdown. And he's marked 40 metres from goal, and an opportunity to break the deadlock here and give them some breathing space. This is a beautiful pick-up from Milne Lowdown. It's a good catch, but do the Saints need this as a steadier? Well, he's been very accurate in a set shot before today. 11-2 from set shots. From 45, he comes in and just takes this one to the left. So the Blues still alive. Yes, and the tension wait, wait. showing. That was wait, wait. a chance to just about put paid to the Carlton effort. Yeah, Kudafidis was uh, providing an option, a long option. Saddington provides the short one. And Carlton are away, but uh, not quite sure where to go from here. He's got Favola with two to beat. And Hutchton has done the job superbly since Favola kicked those three first quarter goals. Matched the Carlton spearhead stride for stride on the lead. Made some tremendous spoils. Matthew Clark cleverly. Ackland though. Jackson brought down. And a ball up. Still just three kicks in it. Halfway through this final term. Carlton have kicked the only three goals of the quarter. Ackland straight to Graham. 
Burst for the Saints. And running onto it here, Blake. Got a kind bounce. Got a bit of toe for a big man. Puts it into a good spot. Gehring there, but a hop. All the hand. Boy. It's happening for the Blues at the moment. And now here's Wait. And Wait in space. One bounce. Directing traffic as he goes. And a second. Kick towards half four. Wasn't great. Then Fisher chopped it off again. Hurt the free kick. Advantage called to Gilbert. And the mark taken by Revolt. And again, Sam Fisher getting across to assist. The spare man who's played it superbly today in defence for St Kilda. Fiora. 65 from goal. Wheels onto the left boot. Kicks it towards Blake. Good fist coming from the Carlton defence. And Jackson to Houlihan. He was brought down. Now a chance for Xavier Clark. Deep in the pocket. Brilliantly done. Brings it back to the top of the square. And the mark's taken by Blake. Harvey and Blake there for St Kilda. And Clark's execution was superb. That was lovely. He looked up. Saw him in the midfield. And just centred the ball. Great discipline. So an opportunity to snuff out this Carlton challenge here for Jason Blake directly in front, 25 metres from goal. He's kicked it. No, he's missed it. Has he got it? Yes, he has. Mass confusion in the box, but he's kicked the goal for the Saints. Did he know he'd kick? Well, he put his hands to his head. I wonder whether he was, must have been in relief, but I looked at that and thought, oh, he must have must have missed it. But uh, here's another look at the kick from Clark, which set Jason Blake up. It was close. We will say that. True. So St Kilda get the steadier and Ross Lyons hold on the phone might just relax a little bit as the difference is 23 points and it'd be hard to see Carlton pulling back from there but uh, it's been an effort to really give Carlton supporters some hope. Ball off to Montagna who kicks it long and wide towards Revolt, the bounce eluding him. Saddington has Gibbs lurking there for the hand pass. Simpson and Gibbs double teaming Graham. Good placement by Gibbs. And Blackwell. Goes for Lappin. Need to be good. Couldn't quite hang on to it. High tackle by Murphy. St Kilda free. They want to go on. Called on. Montagna to Gilbert. And the Saints are a chance here. Gehrig in a good spot. The kick knocked to his advantage. Saddington did well on Revolt. Scotland. Saddington again. Houlihan. And the Carlton defence been pretty good in this second half. Carlton free kick downfield. And now advantage. Scotland. And Bannister taking it wide to Blackwell. And now they have men loose. Ackland. Although the numbers are some killers way inside the 50. And Ackland's kick is poor. Doc Clark a long way to bend, but he receives Ball's hand pass. Kicks it short, too short to Fiora, who's well tackled. Got the handball out, though. Del Santo oh, slipped the tackle with strength. And handball's back inside the corridor to Ball, who chips it poorly. And then Russell sees the opportunity. And Marks kicks it out wide. Lappin has made position. He marks on attacking 50. Couldn't kick it from there, surely. Matthew Lappin, game 250. Drives it to the goal square. Fisher. Brad Fisher of Carlton stood his ground, judged it superbly, and has marked 10 metres from goal and should kick goal number three. His second for the final quarter and, well, just kept Carlton's hopes alive. He waltzes in, kicks it, truly, and the margin back to 17. Well, they're certainly hanging in there, that's for sure. And they still have plenty of time to be able to win this game. But that's Carlton's 27th mark for the quarter. Cool. Gee, that was sick. See what Hutchton was unhappy about. <laughs> yeah. Polax by Favola. That's the magic trick there. Watch this hand while all the action's happening in another. <laughs> Still the Blues are done with. 17 points the margin. And 
time enough yet. St Kilda have not been able to kill off the challenge. Ricks beats so helping to ball. Beautifully done to Hayes. The song that was a clever kick to burst. Now, where does he go? He goes towards Gehrig, but it's chopped off by White. Carlton's defence lifting in this half. It's been their Achilles all year, and yet since half-time, the Saints have only managed five goals. And Chris o, there's no loose man. No loose man, Bossy. <laughs> <laughs> one on one right across the park. Ricks, good palm to Hayes, to Del Santo. Gehrig at the end of it. Oh, Thornton comprehensively outmarking him. Thornton in full-back position. And off to Simpson, who kicks it short. Saddington in the back pocket. Good kick. Sets Carazzo away. Needs to play on here, but again, his progress is halted. St Kilda didn't have the numbers for There was a one-on-one -on -one contest, so may have been better advised to play on. But he kicks towards Scotland, who keeps his feet, but can't keep it in. And we'll get a boundary throw in between wing and half forward for Carlton. Yeah, and Scotland there is gesturing that he should have played on, get the ball going forward. That was a terrific one-on-one -on -one mark there. And that's the play that we've been talking about, is that just that play on. Be bold. Take the oh, risk. Help. Oh, helping. Carazzo, another disposal. Scotland jams it on the boot towards full forward. Going back, Fisher. Chance here for Betts. If he can get free, Eddie Betts is dangerous. Off to Fisher. Snap at goal. Hasn't got the carry. They'll contest in the goal square. And Fisher knocks it through. That's Sam Fisher of St Kilda for a rush behind. But Carlton are continuing the pressure and are continuing to worry the St Kilda side. Well, this is such an improvement by the Blues on these second-half fade-outs that were producing heavy defeats over recent weeks. Graham for St Kilda. Has the dockside wing to himself, but is eventually forced to retreat into the last five minutes of the contest. Baker for the Saints, giving to Gilbert. St Kilda led by 35 points at the last change. At the moment it's 16. Montagna. Revolt's influence has diminished in this last quarter. In fact, hasn't been what it was in the second half. Too far out to score here. Has four goals for the day. Gehrig has five. And St Kilda forced to just soak up a bit of time here. And time is very much their friend as Carlton need three goals. But if the Blues came to play for respect, they have had a victory of sorts today. St Kilda with a win will find themselves in the eight tonight. They won't stay there till the completion of the round, but uh, it'll feel good to be there for the moment. Revolt goes towards Ricks. There's a free kick to Fiora. And the range just about manageable. Let's it go quickly. Gehrig trying to get to the drop. Saddington had a pretty good corner here. Gehrig still a chance. Lee Fisher, Xavier Clark just couldn't quite pull it around with his preferred side, the left. Another behind, it's the Saints by 17. Counting down now in the final five minutes of actual game time. Ryan Houlihan, Blues need three goals. Got to roll the dice, don't they? Yep. Time ticking away. Gibbs, take a chance, take a risk. Bannister. And again, the natural inclination is to go back off the mark. Going to take a risk and play on. Gibbs again stops. Handball to Betts, but they're going nowhere. They've got to go forward, take a risk. Betts gives it to Gibbs, but his kick is very poor. A short kick that missed the target, and Gilbert marks comfortably low down on the wing. Sam Fisher racking up the possessions again. This is possession number 31. He's taken 16 marks and has played that loose role for most of the day across half back. Very creative. That wasn't a great kick across the ground. And Brenda Favola claims the mark and the umpires paid it. He kicked this too. Well, this is the third or fourth time we've seen Favola work hard when St Kilda have got the ball to turn it over. 
And then this might be the inspiration they need. He's got to kick it from 55. He's kicked four. Brendan Favola. Four goals, two in fact, on the day from 55. A thumping kick. Is it straight? It is. Perhaps that'll provide the spark for the Blues. The margin is back to 11 points. And if they can get a quick centre clearance here, who knows? There's a replay of the mark. And geez, worked hard when St Kilda have had the ball today, Brendan Favola. Three goals from direct turnovers. Brendan Favola working off the ball. He's got reward for effort. He took the ball from an aerial contest 60 metres out to complete the mark about 52 out. A nervous time for the Saints. The margin is 11 points. Carlton is still coming. Time against them. But you never know. Two goals for the most unlikely of victories. Ricks brings it down to Del Santo. Skidding it forward to Fiora. Simpson with him. Line ball. Simpson did okay. Carazzo arriving. And Murphy. Good pressure from Harvey. Fiora once more. Flicks it out for Harvey. Maguire. Bannister got him. Montagna. And Del Santo on the non-preferred. Gehrig one out. Can finish it off. It is 250th. He kicks his sixth. And that'll do. Second time he's kicked six for the year and both of them have been against the Blues. The G train likes them. And here it is, the contest. And Thornton had a choice to make. Does he stay behind Gehrig and wrestling or does he push for front position? He chose to go for front position and Gehrig too strong and just bodied him out of the way and kicked an easy goal. What a game from Fraser Gehrig, six goals. And surely now, with Carlton, push for victory is all over. But Betts takes it out of the centre, kicks towards the full forward area. And Jason Saddington has marked 40 metres from goal. And that's a that move you're talking about, Bossy, with Saddington going forward to man up Sam Fisher, who's played loose for most of the day. An opportunity here from 45. Jason Sannington curls it back and kicks one for the Blues. Margin back to 11. And that was the first clearance, centre clearance for Carlton this quarter. And they went forward, found the open man and duly delivered. So all of a sudden the action starts again. Six goals to two in the last quarter. It'll be the first time Carlton have won a final quarter since round one. And it's against an opponent that you felt would steamroll the Blues eventually. It's been a gutsy effort. Big clearance. Huge clearance. More than 29 minutes on the clock. Brett Ratton finding out about the tension of coaching on day one. 11 points in it. Ricks beats so helping. Oh. Betts read it. The Blues are away. Can Favola snare it? Not quite. Del Santo covers. Still a chance, Carlton. Bannister. Gibbs put the head over it. Gets the free kick. Within range. He's got his head over the ball. He hasn't taken possession. What a moment for young Bryce Gibbs. The prize draft pick. Played for it. There was there. Set shots this year. Zero goals, three for Bryce Gibbs. He'll kick this. To cut the margin to five points. He doesn't manage it. It stays at ten. That might be the last shot in Carlton's locker. Del Santo coming in. Bring it in. Hang on, boy. After the play gifts on, behind. Play on. Now called to play on. Oh, geez, he's giving it up. Not quite. Thought for a moment Brad Fisher might have taken it from his namesake, Sam, but not the case. Come on. Play and on. Play on. 
17 marks now for Sam Fisher. Called to play on wide. Fiora and Ricks. Good fist by O'Halpin. Well done, ball. Handball to Hudson. Oh, good handball between players to Xavier Clark. Back to ball. Kick towards Blake. Couldn't take it. Del Santo. He kicked it in a few moments ago. Tracks it to the line. Scotland. Ends up with the boys. Well tackled. Umpire letting it go. But that's it. A gallant Carlton here this afternoon under Brett Ratton going down to St Kilda. But I'm sure all Carlton fans would be happy with their work ethic. But it was St Kilda winning by 10 points.